on the old first day back, what you what you've been doing with them today? Um, it's quite a light session. I don't think they'll think it is, but um, first few days back into it, we've got eight nine new lads here, so them finding their feet, getting used to how things work. Um, first two or three weeks will be based mainly around strengthening and, and a little bit of endurance work, but it'll be sensible. First years have really only just finished the exams, some of them five or six days ago, so um, they've all had programmes to, to sort of complete during the summer, so it's, it gives us a chance this week to, to check where they're at and where, uh, uh, and where they, we know where they should be, who's had the chance to do it, uh, and, and just basically just ru roll our eye over and where they're at. And how have they done today? They've done very well today. There's a lot of nervous energy today. You know, the, the first years, um, it's new to them. It's a new environment. This is the, the, probably their first day, if not second night, away from home, some of them that are in digs. So the whole thing is, is a new experience. So we have to be sensible. The days when you used to flog people pre-season, uh, as I remember very well, are not quite there now. They, they, they're, the reason they're having spot scientists and things, that they, they plan them and, and they've worked their programmes for them, for their individual needs over the summer, so they look pretty good on first on the first look. And what have you got in terms of players this year? We've got an equal split this year, so um, we've we've got um, nine first years, nine second years, plus one lad that's doing extended school boys. Um, we're really pleased with the group we've got. They're good lads, they're good players. Uh, hopefully, we can build on how how we finished last season. And you're casting your net far and wide. We've just been speaking to Reese's dad. Yeah, Reese is a, a lad we've, we've got from America. Um, we've got lads from London, from Birmingham, from, from North. Our first look is always into our own system, um, but I think it's quite sort of well publicised that over the last few years, the top end has, uh, has been generally taken because when the club was in a conference, they had no hold on them. Um, so we have to find players. So our first look is always local, but if we can't find the players to the standard that we know we need, then we'll go and look from everywhere. Are we still playing catch up then in terms of being back in the league? Um, I think we're getting closer now. Um, the 18, 19 lads we've got here, we've got high hopes for them. There's some good players among them. I um, had, had a very positive meeting with Michael and, and Anthony yesterday. They're very much behind everything we're trying to do. They want the lads coming through. But the bottom line is we've got to make sure the standard of players is high enough for them to want to play them. There's some big lads there, aren't you, some of the year ones? Yeah, they are. Um, you know, you've got to be an athlete to play football. I think it's, it's slightly a myth in football. You've always had to be an athlete, and there's always been better athletes than others. Um, in, in, in generations, people, are, lads and, and, and individuals are bigger every year, every year they go through. So, yeah, there's some big lads here, but they can play. That's the main thing. And what you got planned for them tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll go up to Wheelsby Woods, so, um, you know, it, it, it's running. It's running and it's strength and it's fitness, so we try to change the venues a little bit so it doesn't become monotonous. It's hard enough doing it, so if we can change the scenery a little bit, then it just it just takes the minds off things a little bit. Bring the memories flooding back, Wheelsby Woods. Oh, Wheelsby Woods, yeah, that was Alan's favourite. ever For nine years, I could tell you exactly what we're going to do and I could tell you how hard it was. Um, but on the same side, you know you've got to do it, so... Um, I'd be lying if I said I, I, I don't envy them doing it. I envy them how how fit they'll feel in six weeks' time. Well, Julian, tell us tell us what you're doing here today. I'm here to uh, watch my son Reese Jehu uh, perform for Goonsby. We're very excited. We uh, we just flew in yesterday from North Carolina, and Reese has uh, just been signed on as a scholar at Goonsby, and we're super excited to a watch him. You know, over his career in this in his profession but also excited to kick him out of the house <laughs> <laughs> and just to explain you're a, you're an english guy yeah i was actually born and bred in colchester essex and uh, moved over to the states about 20 years ago i live in north carolina and a uh, beautiful place but it's nice to come home and you know smell the, the british air and you know we love soccer and we've been fortunate enough to keep recent soccer and play you know quite quite consistently and you know this is his passion. Never, never in our wildest dreams did we think Reese will come to the to Europe and or England, should I say, and play. So this is a dream come true for not just him but also his father. So I'm beyond excited and uh, almost shaking now just talking to you because it's it gives me like hives just thinking about it. And uh, you know Reese is a, a true number nine striker. Scored tons of goals over there in the States. So we feel like you know coming over here, you can only get better because this is where you want to be as a soccer player. And uh, Reese is. 
obviously homesick already, but I think he's gonna he's gonna be just fine. And you know, a lot of family are gonna be flying over quite often to visit him. And you know, we're just we're just blessed and excited for his future in soccer. Did you always encourage him to play soccer then? Um, we gave him options in the states. You know, soccer is not a huge sport. It's getting bigger and bigger in the states now. But you know, he did taekwondo and all that wonderful stuff, dancing. <laughs> but uh, he, he started playing soccer about six, and he's uh, just always been playing. And at the present time, in, in the states, he's playing at our level, the highest level, NCFC Academy, and uh, he's done really, really well. You know, and uh, I just let him run with it, to tell the truth. But um, whatever level I put him at. You know, he's, he's, he's played so well and fortunately last year there was a camp in our area and Paul Wilkinson actually uh, did the camp with uh, Mickey Adams and uh, Budgie and uh, they spotted Reese and they, they thought he was a tremendous talent. He was only 15 and they said maybe we should fly out one day for a tryout and we said why not and uh, we thought it was going to be this year and it was actually last year and we flew him out when he was 15 and you know they loved him and uh, actually he, he went to Grim actually Barnsley sorry first and went there for 10 days and then they took him to Grimsby and they asked him back in October and then they said boom he's got a contract so again it was a big shock to us and you know it was it was it was a tough decision for us because in, Eng in England we finished school at 16 but in America he's a sophomore so he's still got two years of high school left so I had to fight the wife a little bit and convince her that it was in his best interest and uh, we feel like it's a great decision but you know, it's a tough one because, you know, in America you go to high school until you're 18 and then off to college. So it is a risk, but, you know, it's risk reward in our lives. And uh, like I said, Reese wants this more than anything. And uh, I think he's going to do really, really well. And how long are you staying with him for? I'm going to stay till Sunday. And then we're going to try and get some family members out here every month. You know, I've got a huge family in England, but, uh, you know, my wife's going to fly over. I'm going to fly over. Someone will be here just visiting him just to give him support, family support. Because, like I said, he's, he's homesick already and we understand that. I mean, I went to the States and I was homesick, you know, so I, I get it. You know, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure most of these kids are homesick sometimes. You know, it's part of the process of being a footballer is, you know, this is it. You know, you, you have to leave the family and, you know, go for it, you know. Is that the dream for the American kids then to get out to Europe? And yeah, play you know, when, when we announced that Reese was coming over, I mean, no one could believe it. You know, it's, it's the American dream. You know, unfortunately, you know, to get over here, it's complicated. You know, luckily, I'm a British citizen, so Reese was able to access that. But um, if, you, if you go to America right now, soccer is so big, so competitive, you know, and the kids are just, their dream is to become a professional soccer player. The difference in America is, the opportunities are slim. I mean, you really have to have a connection in terms of your parents or your siblings have to be some sort of European so you can get over here. But uh, I think, you know, Reese would have went the college route and maybe ventured into the MLS. But even that is a real challenge in, t in today's world. And getting over here is a massive opportunity for any kid. So, yeah, I think there's a million kids right now would love to have Reese's opportunity. And Reese is blessed. He's ecstatic. And I guess back home, everybody knows about going to be town now. I do. You know, <laughs> funny enough, you know, I'm sitting in my car for the last four games of the season on the edge of my seat. I was a huge Grimsby fan. So, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, they do know about a Grimsby. I was actually wearing a Grimsby shirt and I actually uh, put it on the Twitter. Yeah, you get some funny looks at that, don't you? Uh, I got a few funny looks. Like, <laughs> who's that? You know, <laughs> who's Grimsby? Where's Grimsby? <laughs> Is it in England? Yeah, I think I did get a few comments about it. But, you know, like I said, uh, I become a huge fan. I was vested because obviously I didn't want to see him relegated. But uh, it was a fantastic finish to the season. And, you know, I love soccer too so uh, you know not being actually at the stadium but being in my car I felt like I was at the stadium because you could feel the energy and uh, the way they finished the season for me it was just exciting watching it you know listening it to it in the States so uh, yeah big fan big fan. Are you going to be able to get over to see Reese playing games? I hope to um, I'm coming back uh, in September the 24th I'll be back so I hope to get back but uh, you know any big games I'm going to fly over you know it's just a six and a half hour flight for me so you know I've got a flexible job where I can come over so uh, it's uh, yeah as much as I can again you know it's tough for me to leave him here you know i'm going back on sunday um so i'll probably break down because I, I get very emotional so uh yeah i'm definitely going to come over as much as i can for sure